To prepare for this procedure, rinse components that will come in contact with bone marrow aspirate with heparin. Next, close the white side clamp of the filter bag and remove the red cap. Then, inject ACDA into the red cap of the marrow prep filter bag. This will prevent clotting once the bone marrow aspirate is injected into the bag. Remove bone marrow from the patient's iliac crest using the bone marrow aspirate needle. Rotate the BMA needle 90 degrees and remove 5 milliliters of bone marrow. Withdraw the needle from the bone marrow space approximately 2 centimeters. Aspirate another 5 milliliters of bone marrow. Rotate the BMA needle 90 degrees. Repeat these steps until you have aspirated the desired volume. Aspirate 30, 60, or 120 milliliters of bone marrow from the patient. Do not remove more than 60 milliliters from one puncture site. If you want 120 milliliters, remove the needle and insert it into a new site in the ilium. If you remove any of the collection components from the bone marrow space, rinse them with heparin. Once bone marrow aspirate is removed, inject it into the filter bag. As it enters the bag, gently mix it. Once enough bone marrow aspirate is collected, it's time to process it. Open the white side clamp on the bag and squeeze the filter chamber to allow aspirate to enter it. Remove the syringe from the filter bag and attach a plastic cannula to the syringe. Now transfer the bone marrow aspirate to a process disposable for easy processing. Aseptically prepare the red access port on the process disposable. Next, transfer bone marrow aspirate into the red port on the process disposable. Place the process disposable into the smart prep system. Align the white port with the white dot. Load another cup with equal volume or a corresponding balance weight into the opposite rotor bucket. Close the lid and press the BMAC button. The total processing time is about 14 minutes. During the first four minute spin cycle, the process disposable sits horizontally. The plasma and stem cells separate from the red blood cells. The BMAC process disposable has a proprietary self-calibrating floating shelf that is designed for concentrating bone marrow aspirate. Following the low speed separation, the centrifuge slows. Platelet and stem cell rich plasma decants into the plasma chamber. Once finished, the centrifuge automatically speeds up to start the second 10 minute spin cycle. This spin concentrates the bone marrow aspirate into a rich cellular fraction at the bottom of the plasma chamber. When the system stops, the result is 4 to 20 milliliters of concentrated bone marrow aspirate. Using a syringe with one or two yellow spacers to withdraw the necessary volume of cell-free plasma through the white port, resuspend bone marrow cells into the remaining plasma to create a final BMAC. 